Good afternoon. I woke up at nine, started writing down my dream, passed out mid writing, woke up at 12, stayed in bed until half one. Now it's half two and I'm eating breakfast. I'm falling apart. I need to stop going to bed so late. So today I think it's gonna be a chill one. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do yet. This is a sad day. We have to retire the pink backpack. It's just broken, broken in too many places. Like the straps broken here, this is broken here. There's a big hole in the side here. I've repaired it so too many times. It's lasted as many years. I'm retiring it and I'm going back to an old backpack, which for some reason has no damage to it. So I don't know why I never, I stopped using this one. I got bored of it, I guess. Can we get an F in the chat to pay respect for the pink backpack? You will be missed. It's been like this all day and I just couldn't bring myself to come outside. I don't know what's up with me. Maybe I'm spending too much time outside and I'm just getting sick of it. <laughs> We're gonna go, we're gonna go somewhere. I don't know where I'm gonna go yet. There's like an hour left of daylight. Bruh. There is a lot I wanna do inside as well. So hopefully today I can just force myself to do that. I've never seen this many cars here, what's happening? All right guys, so my original plan was foiled because there's traffic everywhere. For some reason, all the roads are blocked. I was on a phone call with Poppy. She was giving me directions and we've ended up here. I was literally driving around. All the spots I wanted to go to were ruined because the sun is setting and I'm losing light. So we found a lay-by and I see some trees. So I'm gonna climb into this, this sketchy field and run to the trees. Okay, a police car just rode past. Let's, uh, let's chill out for a second. Let them go and then we'll run for it. All right, all right, all right, all right. How do I do this? How do I do this? How do I do this? Oh, it's so busy. Oh, this is a horrible wall. <laughs> okay, we're in, we're in. Let's go to the woods now. See the woods over there? <laughs> I just want to walk around into some trees for a few minutes. That's all I want today. And then I'm going home. It's especially cold. I don't have much light. I just want some trees, okay? This is obviously a spot I've never been to before because I don't know where I am. There's a tiny bit more snow on the mountains. In the last vlog, I was complaining about it, saying how winter's broken. Well, I spoke too early. It's getting colder. My nose is hurting. What kind of fence is this? Farmers definitely don't look after their fields very well. It's like they've all just kind of given up. They've probably like inherited these farms from their fathers and they don't really want to do it, but it's money, it's all they know. I can't imagine a sheep farm is very good money. But who knows, I mean, they own a lot of land, so maybe it is good money. Old wall, very nice. I have to run because I'm freezing. It's so cold. I'm definitely underdressed. Woods. They found woods. <laughs> yeah. Wow, nice. Oh, very nice. All the sheep are making funny sounds. Quite hard to make sense of what I'm walking through here. They've driven a vehicle through and cut trees to make room for something. Oh, there's literally nothing here. Strange. And why are they chopped down so many trees? People that own forestry, I'll never understand why they, why, what, why they do what they do. Like, why did that tree need to come down? You could fit a vehicle through here. And I'm, like, I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't get it. People that own forestry, they don't look after the forestry very well. 
There is one area near me that look after the forests really well, but they have a team of gardeners. And it's National Trust property, so they have to look after it. All the other woods I go to, they're not really managed at all. Oh, that's a lie. No, I did find one spot near me that's looked after really well. Okay, let's try this path. Where does this go? I always get comments saying like, how do you find these spots? Like, how do you just find the coolest places? Well, for every cool spot I find, I, f I go and explore 20 bad ones. You guys just don't usually see that because they don't capture it. But now that I'm daily vlogging, <laughs> you'll see the effort that goes into finding one good spot. I mean, nothing's bad. Obviously, I'm enjoying <laughs> walking through thorns in this really not well-managed bit of forest here. I lost my train of thought. I completely lost it. What? What's happening here? What am I experiencing? What is? Ow. What is this? Nice. I would have liked to have brought, brought my camera with me, but we're traveling light today. But anyway, like, what is? What is that? What's happened here? Why are there a bunch of trees just laying in, the, in this field? Oh, sheep. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when sheep notice you. They do, they, they're walking forward and they just do this. I hope you guys can appreciate the amount of effort I'm putting into my channels right now, or well, this channel. Daily vlogging, it's not easy. You have to sacrifice sleep, and I'm not really good at doing that. So I'm sacrificing my daytime. <laughs> I have no time in my days anymore because it's all being eaten up by the vlog. I love it though. I love, I love the grind. I love uh, documenting everything. Like I explained in the episode one of like five days ago, that I want to bring back fractals with new clothes. That's a whole process. That's not like something I can do very quickly. First, you have to generate money to buy clothes. Then you have to gamble on, on the, whether or not you'll be able to sell those clothes for profit. I'm pretty confident that I can. But you have to find the right material, something that's good, it's not going to break, something people actually want to wear. And then you have to order it, dye it, make it, ship it, uh, uh, advertise it. Um, and then, after all, if all that goes well, then you sell some product. But there's a lot of steps. So that's why I'm not diving into that just now. Right now, I'm generating money so that I can buy some clothes. And then, uh, yeah, we'll move on from there. It, it takes a while. So if it doesn't just happen immediately, that's why. It's because there's steps to it. Um, but yeah, I'm still... I'm putting in the effort by just getting out every day, forcing myself to do something. And then I know that I have to come back by a certain time, edit it and upload it. Like the grind is important to me. It's kind of nice. Just following a little sheep track. But yeah, it's winter. Like I don't usually come out this often in winter. I really have to force myself to, to want to do it. Okay, this is really, really bramble heavy. Oh, look what I'm stepping in right now. When I'm at home, I spend about the first <laughs> half hour of being home uploading footage and pulling thorns out of my feet because I do this to myself every day. So I'm just following the sheep. The sheep seems to have like a secret path over here. It's quite nice. Yeah, this could be a really nice forest if it was maintained better. Someone owns this. Someone owns it and is neglecting it and it's so sad because I could turn this into a beautiful plot for myself. I could even build a home here if I was ever allowed. But farmers don't want to give up the land so easy. All right, I think I'm going to call it here. This is too difficult to, call, difficult to walk through. There's just so much bramble. Just on this rock. Beautiful view of the mountains here. It's a cool forest. It's very overgrown. Can't really get through it easy. So I was trying to climb over a fence and someone started walking towards me. They were very close actually. Couldn't tell if they were like a farmer or just a walker, but it spooked me enough to turn around so I'm like pretty deep into this field and like I don't know I shouldn't be here probably and then I got thinking like well am I doing anything wrong 
but technically what I'm doing is trying to find some land to buy and there's a lot of it around especially like this forestry stuff that's just kind of in the middle of fields and doesn't look attended to so if I ever do get stopped I never do whenever I'm walking on people's land but if I ever did I could just explain instead of making an excuse to just explain what I'm trying to do like hey I'm local lived here for 20 years trying to find some land to actually build a house on um, explain that we're an eco-friendly house there'll be no construction really it'll just be underground no one will know and then I would look after the areas surrounding it so yeah just thinking about that if I ever do get in trouble I can just explain what I'm actually trying to do I'm not trying to be disruptive not trying to bug the animals or anything I'm just looking for a place to live <laughs> It's got like a strange moat around it. That's quite nice. I always wonder if any of these farmers know who I am. Or if anyone from North Wales knows who I am anymore. Like I'm pretty low key on the internet, but also not. Like people know me, but I wonder if anyone from North Wales or any farmers actually watch my vlogs and what they think of them. Because I'm just walking through people's land all the time And if it, if it annoys them, I don't know I guess I'll never really know until someone talks to me about it But I'm not trying to do any harm, is what I'm getting at here I'm just exploring So I'm now stuck in traffic <laughs> I, I accidentally fell into it because I wanted a good task guy Basically the entire city is on gridlock And we're just edging forward, I've been in this like 20 minutes now Basically, I'm letting, I'm letting, I'm leaving quite a big gap between me and the car in front of me, right? Because I don't see the point in edging. Like, don't edge your engine. It makes no sense. And then the car behind me honked me. So I, like, uh, calmly wind down my window and just say, put my arm around me, like, hey, what's up? What's good? Like, where do you want me to go? Like, do you want me to edge forward so you get that slight satisfaction of getting closer to your destination? Or do you just want to chill out? <laughs> I sped up and started wiggling the wheel back and forth. But like, we can't move. So if honking me is not gonna make anything better. People love to be like bumper to bumper. And I'm like, I don't, I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna breathe in the fumes of the car in front of me. I'd rather keep my distance. Still can't go anywhere, we're still stuck. But there's a gap. I'm like, chill out. People are dumb. I mean, NPCs, like that's such an NPC move. All right guys, so I'm back from my wonder. I got stuck in traffic for like half an hour. Let me show you this video that I found the other day. It's like a really good feel good video. I'll just let him talk and um, explain why it's so great. I came back to Oregon to live a simple life and was looking for a place to have a teepee. And this is the, the roof of the studio. And I located this two acre piece of property and convinced the owners that I could live here in a simple manner. That's my doorbell. <laughs> when you come off the hill, you ring that. They, that. You can find out where I am. And so for 25 years, I've rented this two acre piece for $100 a year. $100 a year for a piece of land that he lives on. Dude, for 25 years. That's only 2,500 bucks on rent. And he has land, he can do whatever he wants with it. That immediately got me hooked into this video. It's 34 minutes long, I watched the whole thing. He found someone who has land and convinced them to let him stay on it. And he was living in teepees and tents and stuff like that. And then he built a hut and the hut got robbed and he decided to build this hobbit hole. Home ever since. It's a small hobbit hole though, it's not like the size I'd want. But still, you get the idea that this is possible without spending tens of thousands on land. It's so tiny. My friends always kind of laughed at me when I said this, but I said all along that what I wanted to do was to be 12 years old again. Yeah, it's a little tight to get in here, but <laughs> it's so just... small. So when I was 10 or 12 years old, the world was a magical place, and meadows were something to crawl through and explore. Why is he small? I don't know. I just like building little things, right? Just like a little fort. Yeah. I built little forts always when I was a kid. <laughs> I just kind of kept building forts 
and <laughs> making them nicer and nicer so that I could actually live in them. And that's really what this is like. Wow, it's great. Yeah, see a, a skylight that, that you can open or close. Get anyway, this is his bedroom. I just want to show you this. This is a window door, so I can actually go out that if I need to. I've like never that. I've never felt claustrophobic yeah. in here. I don't yeah. know if it's the ceiling at an mm. angle or what, but see, you can't even stand up in here. People are like, oh, well, I couldn't live in a place I couldn't stand up in. Yeah. So interesting. So, yeah, he basically explains, I'll put the link of this video down below. He built everything from reclaimed wood. Um, he basically didn't spend any money at all on this thing. It's just so interesting. And he explains how long he's been living there. So he, he this is um, the camera lady's kids. They can stand up in there. Transformation. Anyway, it's just really interesting that he's built all of this for basically nothing. And he's quite a minimalist. He explains he doesn't own very much. Grows his own food and stuff like that. It's just really cool. 100 bucks. 100 bucks a year. Really interesting guy. I recommend watching that video if you guys are interested in that kind of stuff. Somebody sent me that on Instagram actually. So if you guys find any videos like that explaining like cheap living, um, hobbit holes, anything like that, homemade houses, send them, send them my way. I love to watch that kind of stuff and get inspiration. So. <sighs> All right, I need to edit now and then I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> I barely did anything today. I need to sleep earlier. All right, bye. See you tomorrow.